Good morning everyone. So today is Thursday. Uh, we did yesterday's uh, English study so today let's focus on what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna continue with your Kids Wonder books pages 23, 24, 25 and 26. But before we start uh, looking at those pages I want to ask you a very short riddle. If you can answer this riddle I am planning to give you some doja points because don't forget about them. What about your monsters? Yes, we are not in the classroom maybe, but you can still um, reach out to me, tell me the answer and get some points. So I wrote it on a very little sticky note and it says, let's see, you answer me, but I never ask you questions. Hmm, what am I? You answer me, but I never ask you questions, so what am I? All right, now let's move to Kids Wonder Activity Books, page 23. Do you remember the story we did about the pirate and um, who is that? Polly. Hmm. Polly the parrot. Okay, so we have another paragraph about them and you have some true false questions. You know how to do this. You read the um, story, then you look at the sentences. If they are correct, you give it true. If they are wrong, you give it false. You can circle it and continue. And in the second exercise, it asks you to uh, build two more sentences correct and two more sentences false. So you can write uh, whatever you want about the story. Now let's move to the next page, 24. Here it says quiz time. So there are no questions. How can we do the quiz? We're going to make the questions and we're going to ask them to other people, like an interview. All right, you can um, ask these questions to your family members and you can even translate them to Turkish if you need to and then you can make uh, you can act like a translator translate it back to English and write the answers down let's see the example there is one did Pirate Pete drop the treasure map hmm this is the question so you can read the story out loud this will also help you uh, practice your pronunciation and then you can ask these questions to questions to all the people around then you write the answers here questions answers okay now let's move to page 25 here you have six pictures about the story but this time here it asks you to change the story so you can make it hmm, more adventurous more interesting anything you want uh, but it will be your story so use your imagination okay and next page 26 again we have four pictures and we have some verbs in the past form dropped stopped walked and pushed we're gonna look at the pictures and match them with these verbs but what are they uh, do we know them I think we know them but let's quickly review Dropped. Hmm. Okay. You remember my sticky note? Whoops. I dropped it on the table. Drop. All right. Um, stopped. Stopped. So what happens if I stop this video right now? We won't know what to do in the exercise too. Excuse my dog. All right. Now we also have walked and pushed. Hmm. You know how we push something, we can push a car if it, it's not working, or we can push a button, and we know what walk is. Hello little one, thank you. <laughs> All right, now after that, we are going to write those words on the blank parts, and we're gonna make a very, very short story, but then it asks you in the second part what happens next. So you imagine uh, what would happen in the continuance of the story and you write um, with your imagination. I believe all of them will be very interesting and individual. So uh, today's 
study is quite short, I believe. I hope you'll have fun doing it. And um, I love you all, guys. See you later.